I'm Dave, and this is Austin Eats. I'm making St. Louis style spare ribs using the 3 2 1 method in my offset smoker. These are easy to make, they taste great, and they're right here on Austin Eats. Spare ribs come from the bottom of the rib cage and have a little bit of work to do to get these ready to smoke. I've already peeled off the tough layer that is stuck to the back of these ribs. You can see it up here where I've not taken it off. And the reason is that that little flap of meat right there has got to go. That's just going to burn up in the smoker and there's no point in having it on here. So it's coming off now or later. Better get it off now. So trim off that particular flap of meat and any other extra fat that you find on the ribs. That looks pretty good. Let's turn it over and see the other side. Well, I've got a big piece of fat down at the end. That's got to be trimmed down a little bit. It doesn't have to go away entirely, but you want it cleaned up. At the far end of this is a very tiny little bone in some very thin meat, and that also is just going to burn up. Find that little bone and cut just inside of it and take that off and discard it. Gotta go. Now I've got an extra little flap right there. That has to go as well. All right, that's looking pretty good. Time to add my dry rub. So apply the dry rub very generously and actually rub it into the meat. So this adds a lot of flavor and I am a big proponent in using a lot of dry rub. Any extra is just gonna fall off and that's okay. Turn it over and do the same thing on the backside. Lots of dry rub. Now, spare ribs come from the bottom of the rib cage. Baby back ribs come from the top of the rib cage. These tend to be longer and a bit meatier, but they also can be a little bit tougher. That's why I'm using the 3 2 1 method. I'm going to smoke them low and slow for three hours, then wrap them up with a little bit of liquid, put them back in the smoker for two hours, and then finally finish them on the grill with some sauce for that final hour. Time to fire up the smoker. I used charcoal to light my offset smoker and kiln-dried oak to cook with. These ribs have been in the smoker for about two hours. I spray the ribs every 30 minutes with a little apple juice in a spray bottle. That helps keep them moist. I also keep a pan of water in the smoker. That also helps keep them moist. After three hours, I wrap the ribs in some heavy-duty foil and make a bit of a tent and then Pour in a little bit of liquid, maybe about six ounces. You can use apple juice, even water, whatever you like. The idea is to braise the ribs over the next two hours. After two hours, I remove the ribs from the foil, put them back on the smoker again at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and start adding my favorite barbecue sauce. Just pour it on and slather it in. These ribs will now stay on the smoker for another hour. Make sure to turn the ribs over and do the backside as well. Have to have sauce all the way around. They just smell so good. I let the ribs rest for about 10 minutes before cutting. You can just see how gorgeous these are and how big and meaty they are. I really like St. Louis ribs. I like baby backs, but I think I like these a little bit more. If you do a 3 2 one method, you won't be disappointed. Hey, if you like the video, let me know and please subscribe. I have new videos coming out every week. See you next time on Austin Eats.